okay, I have uh, the work stat being uh, controlled by the Q Nexus. Um, actually, the uh, CV out um, is going uh, into oscillator 2 of the TTSH, which is then coming out and going the audio in and the work stat. Um, and then I also have <clears throat> the triangle LFO going out and also going into uh, VCO2 of the TTSH and doing just a slight modulation. Uh, we're also going to be doing the same thing to uh, the VCO on the work stand. Um, along the side, we have four knobs. Uh, the first one back here, this is our main out. Uh, the second two, um, this one is the external input, and this is the uh, works at VCO input and then this one is a glide <clears throat> so it's essentially the same circuit uh, is here it's just duplicated and put in line of the um, uh, which one is it VCO exponential in and that's what gives us our one volt per octave this keyboard does like a, a zero to three volts uh, over one octave so when you run anything through it to get to the glide circuit it just doesn't work at all um, and it's just much easier to create a second glide which could actually pose uh, some interesting um, things if you have this controlling this and you're also uh, exponentially controlling the VCO and have a different glide it, whatever um, so just bear with me I'm gonna hopefully this will work um, if not then well, you won't be seeing this video anyways. So I'm going to be plugging um, my iRig uh, directly <clears throat> into the mixer and then into, into my phone so you can hear it. Um, yeah. to mention uh, this glide uh, will only affect this VCO it does not it's not going to affect um, anything that's plugged into the external so you'll essentially what I'm doing you'll you have um, the work stat is on a glide but the TTSH is not so kind of cool